Welcome back. So Terraform, it's a powerful infrastructures code tool, and we'll be learning all about it through this course. But before we really dive into those later hands-on lessons, we need to have a solid understanding around all the infrastructure as code fundamentals. Now, if Terraform is a infrastructure as code tool, it makes sense that we need to first understand what this infrastructure as code or IAC stuff actually means. So let's take a look at that now. Now, a core concept with infrastructure as code is that we want to treat all the different areas of our IT environment as software. Uh, so with infrastructure as code, we want to look at all the different components that make up our IT environment as code. Uh, so that virtual machine running in the cloud, uh, code. Uh, that managed database service running in the cloud, uh, code. Uh, or even your cloud networking configuration, again, code. Or maybe you have a hybrid cloud infrastructure with some uh, physical servers running stuff on your own uh, private data center, uh, along with your cloud environment resources. How should we look at this setup and configuration of all those resources, given that you have uh, on-premises equipment as well? Well, again, with infrastructure as code, everything should be defined as code. And this infrastructure as code concept ties into modern DevOps methodologies. Uh, enables you to have all your software and infrastructure defined as code, so it can be version controlled and stored in a central spot like a GitHub repo for easy collaboration across teams. Now, there's a lot of benefits to using infrastructure as code methodology to manage your infrastructure. Um, there's actually a lot of talk about here, so we'll have an entire lesson coming up where we'll dive into all the benefits of infrastructure as code. Now, if you've worked in IT a bit, you've likely done some form of infrastructure as code already. Uh, maybe you've written a number of bash scripts to help automate the configuration of a server or install some software components. Uh, these simple scripts are a form of infrastructure as code. So if simple scripts are a form of infrastructure as code, uh, when they're used for configuring or deploying infrastructure resources, are there other forms of infrastructure as code? Well, for infrastructure as code, there's a few main categories. And like most technology tools or methodologies, they all have their pros and cons, and one category or tool itself isn't necessarily better than the other, uh, it just all really depends on the use case. Now, I feel it's important to understand all these pros and cons, as there's often you know, many discussions that happen in, around uh, you know, why we're using tool X for this when we should be using tool Y, or uh, tool A can accomplish the same thing as tool B, uh, why do we need tool A and B? So we'll be taking a look at all these things in the future lessons, uh, but let's stay focused simply on understanding infrastructure's code itself first. So back to the infrastructure's code types, they can be largely grouped into these categories. So we have our scripts as a basic form of infrastructure's code that we touched on, uh, as well as a number of image templating tools, uh, config management tools, orchestration tools, and provisioning tools. Now, without really knowing what all these categories are about yet, uh, make a guess where you think Terraform fits in. Now, Terraform functionality can actually span across multiple categories here, but it primarily fits into one of them. Uh, so make a guess, and you'll learn in the later lessons if you're right. So the next lesson we head into, uh, we'll take a look at the first three categories here. Uh, we'll look at using scripts as a basic way to do infrastructure as code, then understand the templating tools as a way to codify uh, snapshots as you know ready-to-go servers and resources into uh, a form of golden images, uh, and finally our configuration management tools. So thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.